it just like that. Welcome to another episode of Broken Play. Hey, we got a legend in the motherfucking building, man. We got Mad Max. I got, hey, Vernon Maxwell, we, we want to call him Mad Max. That's it. That's what you're yeah. We in the building. Appreciate y'all. We a Florida boy, man. That's right. Appreciate you for having me here, man. Thank you, man. But damn right. Call me Mad Max. Man. Yeah, that, that's, that's what you want to go by right. anyway, yeah, huh? Yeah, it Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah. My old Not just Mad, yeah. Mad like, Max. That's, that's me. Yeah, damn man. Damn right. No that's doubt. what's up, man. Yeah. Tell us, tell us, man, what's going on with you now? We see you got you a podcast going on. Yeah, I got the Maxed Out podcast. Mm-hmm. Hopefully getting ready to start back here in the next month or so. For and, sure. And um, I got my LLC, uh, the mental health. Uh-huh. You know, How that's uh, going? Oh, it's going wonderful. I just did some uh, symptom and uh, imposing uh, speech and had a platform where I had some powerful guys up there, you know, speaking and on on my behalf and and just about mental health, and Ron Artest was there with me. And, oh, that's right. Yeah, I had him up on the stage with us, and so, you know, with us two crazy motherfuckers. So, <laughs> you know, that's powerful, you know, uh, yeah. just to be up there talking they about that. He ended on a so, good note. Yeah, just to let everybody know it's okay, you know, it's okay, you know, the, the, the you know, the acts for help if you need yeah, help. For sure. So, real. That's all, and, and then in the black, black community, that's that's where we lack at. Because sometimes, you know, it frowned upon, like, you know what I'm saying? We'd be quick to say, oh, that motherfucker crazy. And leave it at that. Right. But sometimes, a nigga just want to vent. Right. Sometimes you don't got nobody to talk to, so it's all that done board inside. And now when I unleash it, now I'm right. Mad Max. Right, there you go. You see? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it builds up, and that's what it ends up to be. But like I'm saying, you know, I mean, you got to have a, a place where you can outlet to and. And, right. and, and and just somebody to talk to. Man, shout out needed. for you even thinking no about doubt. doing yeah, that. Because a lot of no people don't think that. about reaching back and yeah, giving no people doubt. those platforms no yeah, yeah, where yeah. they safe to come talk to. Okay, that's what I'm about. Yeah, so man. now so, you're doing the right thing. But then in that too, you know, I got my boys, you know, um, you know, uh, one at Hampton um, and one in high school at North Mech High School, 18th uh-huh. in the nation in high school. And Ooh. my man, uh, Tristan Maxwell at Hampton, Getting ready to do his thing. So y'all pay attention to this motherfucker too now. This motherfucker <laughs> finna go the fuck off too. He on the way. Oh yeah, you got damn right. He got a shot. <laughs> what year, okay. year is he at him? Uh he's a senior. He got one more year left though. He got a he got two years left. Because so. of the COVID situation. Yeah, with the COVID year. came okay. in twenty twenty. So he got the COVID year. So but yeah. And then a young killer too now. His name Vernon Maxwell the third. But he's so goddamn crazy like his daddy. He just be wanna call Trey. He said, man, don't call me that motherfucking name. <laughs> so we got to call him motherfucker Trey. Trey, shout out to Trey. All right, Trey. Hey. Yeah, but, yeah, but other than that, man, that's all I'm doing, man. I love to play golf. You know, um, I love doing what I'm doing right here with you all. So, For sure. And that's what I'm about, man. Yeah. So look, yeah. how, how, how the family games be? Like y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all be playing like horse and oh, or yeah. just playing, you know. Well, shit. One on one. I shoot the shit out of it now. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's like riding a damn bicycle. Yeah, you know? sometimes you got to show where they yeah. got that shit from. Oh, man, but these motherfuckers really can shoot it, though. Yeah. yeah these <laughs> motherfuckers, some jump shoot motherfuckers. It's in, you know, hey. it's just in DNA, man. Yeah. That shit but don't hey. lie, man. You just got to make sure you bring it out these motherfuckers. But if you bring it out of man, like I did, these two jump shoot motherfuckers, they jump shoot. But see, you got dog in you too. So can oh, you, yeah. te- you, you can't really teach that dog. Do they yeah. automatically got that well, dog see, in them, though? See, with the difference in that shit, my people's now. Goddamn, you got to be missing meals to be a dog. You know, because if you ain't missing meals, nigga, you ain't hungry by shit. Yeah. Nigga, nigga you hear what I'm saying? So, so they I used straight. to miss meals yeah. when I came up. You know, not all the time. Now, Ma, I'm just bullshit. I don't get goddamn, I don't get mad. Now, damn, Ma. You gonna see this shit. Don't be talking about me. Call me, friend, what you said that shit for? You know you ain't missing no damn meal. I miss meals. <laughs> and um, so, and my boys right here, these niggas, you know, they they pampered. Yeah. You know, these kids come up today. We, we try to, you know, fill in the void where we didn't have. Right. When we was coming in with our kids. You know, we mm-hmm. don't want the motherfuckers right. to go through what we went exactly. through. Exactly. So, God damn it. So, then, and, and it makes, and it really kills these motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Because when it, they finally face adversity, they ain't never faced this well, shit. Well, come on, man. Like we, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. that's the thing I'm talking about. But other than that, man, I think everybody gonna be successful, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. sure, they got sure. old Mad Max, the dad in it. For life. sure. Yeah. How you get the name Mad Max? Man, you know how these goddamn white folks do, man. <laughs> 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 Talk about it. 
talk your shit. Nah, man. You know, this ain't this shit like modern day slavery. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck. Really, man, but you know how they do. Um, you know, um, you know, my mom was like, she asked me, like, damn, boy, what the fuck going on, man? Baby, they don't even call you, you know, Vernon Maxwell no more. I was like, damn, man, you know how my they started that Mad Max shit. Yeah. And then that's what they ran with. You know, like just like they changed my man name to Kunta Kente. Yeah. You know, that man had a name before they changed yeah. that man name to Kunta Kente. Not being all this on this old stuff like that right there about race and all that. But still. My name got changed from Vernon Maxwell to Mad Max Mad, Mad. when I played ball because I guess it was the way I played too. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody know. You know, I was a, you know, I was kind of a little loose cannon, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and you know, but you know, I, that's the way I had to play because that's the only way I knew how to play. Right. If I played any other motherfucking way, like you said, like Kenny, you work with Kenny, and Kenny done told all the stories yeah, I know, so I know this shit is crazy what he done told y'all. <laughs> but I love Kenny to death. But, like, I, if I played any other way, man, I wouldn't even been, I probably wouldn't, shit, I probably wouldn't have made it. Yeah. You know? So I had to play that way. That's the only way I knew how to play. Shout out to Sugar Hill, Gainesville, Florida. For sure, for sure. Yeah. They know, um, we uh we read it. You, you were nice in football, too, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was a hell of so a So you think it was from the football aggression that, you know, it probably translated to the basketball court? You would, it don't matter what you would have played. You would have been like that in golf. <laughs> you well, golf is different. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be doing all that No, nah, you got to get them have some etiquette and all that <laughs> shit. And golf, you can't just go crazy. You know, you got to be a little quiet. You got to be... It's not good. Yeah. Not that motherfucker. Yeah. You know, all that shit out there. You, know, sure. you, got, you know, so... I, I be a little reserved, and everybody be like, damn, boy, you play golf? Not, damn, I, yeah, I play golf all the time. That's what I do mm -hmm. all the time. But, um, well, I mean, I'm sorry, what was my question again? Oh, did the uh, football, like you playing football translate to over in the basketball, like you was well, like a little, had more a aggression? Times I, I, I think about it. I think I should have probably played football because I would have made it to the NFL. I knew I would have. Yeah. Um, um, because of the way I play basketball. Right. Because I knew I was a little too more aggressive. Like You, you were looking know. at me like, yeah, you yeah. Soft. I was like, yeah. Um, <laughs> not really. <laughs> now, it was a lot of hard motherfuckers in the NBA, though, yeah, when I played. When I came time, up, when 80, I came yeah. up, them boys was hard as hell. Early 90, yeah. But, I mean, it ain't, it, it ain't about being, it's just about the mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a different mindset, you know what I mean, when it came to that part. And, um, and that's what separated me, you know, a lot of times when, like, I, shit, one game I might, like, for instance, shit, they say I had the, the worst and the best two games in fucking NBA history. One night I had 51, the 30 in the fourth quarter, and the damn next day I came back, we had it back to back. I had two. <laughs> so, <laughs> what transpired between that night? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, you well, know, shit, I, you average 27. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got to look at yes, it. You got to yes, think yes, What's up? It's your boy Nav Green back at it again. You know what I'm here talking about? Prize picks. With a new logo and all, we also bringing my promo code back. So all first time users that deposit and use the promo code will receive 100% instant deposit match up to $100. Man, if you put down $81, they going to match $81. If you put up $42, they gonna match $42. It don't matter what you put up, they gonna match it. It's available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go ahead over to Prize Picks right now by tapping the link below and tell them Broken Play sent you. Use the code Broken Play. That's what we here for. I want you to make money while we making money so we can make money together. Use the promo code Broken Play, Broken Play, and drink 42 with your boy. It's your boy Nav Green. Shout out to Prize Picks. So, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, it, it was just a mindset, man. And I just, I love to play, though. And I just, I just, for sure. that's where I compete. Who's some of your favorite teammates you done played with all the time? Oh, man. I got so many of them, man. Look, all right, man, we're going to be talking all motherfucking day. Um, I mean, Lajuan, I mean, AI, Jared Stackhouse, I mean, Kenneth Smith, Mario Ellie, 
Otis Thorpe, Carl Herrera, uh, David uh, Woods, um, um, shit, uh, who else? Uh, Chris Weber, White Chocolate, Jason Corliss Williamson, <laughs> yeah. Gary Payton, Ben Baker. Man, man 42. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, shit, man, so many of these motherfuckers. Uh, man, you done seen you done seen yeah. some of the best players that Alvin played with Robertson, some of the best players. Alvin Robertson, David Robertson, Sean Elliott, uh, shit, uh, <laughs> Steve <laughs> Nash, yeah, Steve Nash, shit, uh, goddamn Dirk, and um, all of them was good Michael teammates. Michael Finley, oh man, yeah, cool. Oh, okay. so all these motherfuckers was cool as hell. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, uh, shit. It was so many guys. I mean, I mean, good God. I mean, I could keep going on and on. Uh, that was up. Uh, Gary Trent. His oh, son yeah, in the yeah. League. And yeah. his son yeah. in the league yeah. now. Yeah, shooting the shit out of it. Yeah. Don't, that, how that make you feel when you see players you play against see their sons in the league? Man, it makes me feel good. Goddamn, baby boys. Let's get us some goddamn money. <laughs> 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 Let's get us some goddamn money. That's it. That's why I want to get some of this goddamn bread. They too. wanted them. Man. That Mad Max son playing right there. Damn right. Yeah. That's, That's right. Sure. Let's do this. Did you play with uh, Clyde? Or you, you gone? Yeah, I played with Clyde for a second. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, if he ain't yeah. name him, he probably one of the good teammates. <laughs> 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 no, man. Okay, let me go back to that. Clyde. <laughs> Good goddamn Clyde Drexler, great teammate. Got, got a ring with Clyde. Yeah. yeah, one year I played with Clyde. Clyde was a great teammate. Yes, okay. yes he was. Yeah, yeah. Cause I swore I had ran with him heavy on NBA Jam back in the day, man. Vernon, Clyde, and uh, Elijah Wan. That was a, that was a squad. Well, you had a hell of a squad. See, a lot yeah. of niggas don't know. Yeah. Like, don't know back then, NBA, NBA Jam, Jam, you only yeah. could play with three, three players. That's it. All yeah. they got them five yeah, on five yeah, yeah, and something shit. That's shit. Yeah, nah. Nigga, you play with whoever they get you. Yeah, that's what they get. <laughs> whoever they get. Whoever, whoever yeah, they get. That motherfucker get on fire. Get, yeah, that's what they want. Man's on fire. For sure. on time to turn. That's, that's a real talking. goddamn, yeah. you got to know. If yes, you know, sir. you know. That's right. I loved it. Man, so look, tell us like, because you know, you don't never hear like too much about like uh, the dream. You know, a lot of people say they go train with him. Like mm -hmm. they he Giannis, teach him yeah. footwork. Mm -hmm. But like, far as just him, like how was he like a person when you when you played with him? Like he was cool to hang with? Oh, man. Yeah, he's a great person, man. Uh, dream, you know, he was different. You know, I mean, I mean, um, I mean, when I first met him, you know, he wasn't Muslim, but, you know, he was cool, you know, then and and great teammate always, you know. Okay. If you wear the same jersey he got on, shit, he going to block every damn thing. Every time somebody get by, he going to be blocking every goddamn thing, yeah. trying to block every damn thing. So, but um, great teammate, man. Um, um, and then when he became Muslim, that's when he became even better, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He got more humble and... And more quieter, you know, and he used to always tell us this was his thing. Give me the ball, give me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, before. And then when he became, he we just know to get to him. Yeah, you know? like so, it with no uh, questions. We feed off of him, you know. Yeah, That's yeah. what we used to do. We we had throw it into him, had Otis Thorpe, my homeboy, shout out to Otis Thorpe. What's up, baby boy? You know, I love you. Appreciate you coming to my golf tournament on September the twenty two. <laughs> Got a shout out to Otis Thought. Yeah, but uh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh but um yeah, but uh we had Otis Thoughts crashing the board, get in the dream, Otis get um dream enough space to operate. We got either Kenny, myself, Robert Ori. We got either Sam. Sam Nigga forgot that about that Sam because Mario he... Ellie. We got <sighs> the kiss of death. Coming off the bench, well, shout out to my boy Mario. Uh, I mean, we got Matt Bullard, big, tall, six yeah. ten, white boy yeah, coming off the bench, <laughs> shooting shit out of. What up, Matt? Uh, yeah. Uh, so we had a killer squad, man. For so sure. you couldn't. It, all, everybody around Dream was three point shooters, mm -hmm. except like Otis. Otis was the bruiser, you know. But I mean, it was. It was. We had been together so long, and. We had knew we was gone, man. We started the damn season twenty three and one, man. Yeah. So y'all, so y'all knew like yeah. it, it had that championship feel way before yeah, it got. Yeah, we were. Y'all just ready to get there. We were whooping yeah. ass. We were going around whooping <laughs> everybody ass. Dream, you dream. He used to talk shit on the court. 
at all? Nah, he nah, was he quiet. Was very quiet. Dream was quiet. KG Dream. said, what KG said, I'm hitting him with lateral movement. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said he'd take his mouthpiece out and say, I'm hitting him with lateral movement. <laughs> 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 no, I'm telling you, no, that mother, he really didn't say a lot, man. I mean, I mean, he just like he was. I mean, that's the greatest player I ever played with. Mm, for you sure, know what I mean, yeah, just yeah. what he used to do. Hey, you know, he don't get a lot out. of credit though. You know, nah. when they name the top yeah, top players, yeah, yeah, they they leave him off a lot. He was such. He was. He became so humble, man, and yeah. and that's the way he is, man. He don't really care about that, man. That man got so much motherfucking money. Sure. That man got down. <laughs> they back the bring truck up that bubble. <laughs> that man had beep, 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 beep. That motherfucker, he got the dream. Hey, my boy, dream. I know I ain't going to be talking about your money, but goddamn it, you got a bunch of money. We know that. He owned down near half of downtown Houston, Texas. Yeah. Hey, how Nobody was that, know that? How was that like in that Houston era, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when y'all playing and stuff, like, you know, this before screwed up music and all that. Like, what was the feel in Houston? Well, it was at first when I got that motherfucker in um, 1989, 90, um, that motherfucker shit was like somber as hell. That shit was like, it was this shit. Them niggas was, we was like under 500 and shit. Yeah. And um, then uh, Don Chaney was really the one. See, everybody think Rudy T brought me in uh -huh. to uh, the Rockers, but Don Chaney, the black man, the black coach, my oh, yeah. nigga. Temple. Don, shout out to Don Chaney, because that, that changed my whole career, man. Because mm -hmm. when I was I was in San Antonio, that shit was a disaster. <laughs> I mean, God damn. Keep it real. With yeah. Pop, Pop nah, there. yeah, that motherfucker, he was general manager at the time. Oh. But that motherfucker, oh my goodness, it, it was out there. <laughs> I mean, that was shit, that was shit. But shit, thank you, San Antonio, for drafting me. Word, facts. <laughs> Appreciate sure. you, though. God damn. Shit, but damn, you drafted me, it's 48. Oh, I shit, out of 50 picks. You know, I got caught up in all that drug scandal in Florida, so um, I, I felt... Well, yeah, real I niggas felt, bounce back, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I had to climb all the way up the damn ladder again yeah. to get back to where I was at. So, but uh, but the shot at Pop, y'all drafted me, gave me a chance. God damn it. I, um, I, 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 then Don Chaney traded for me over to Houston, and he really gave me a chance mm -hmm. because he, um, he was like... Motherfucker, I'm finna put you in the start lineup. They had uh, Mitchell Wiggins' dad. I mean, um, uh, Aaron Wiggins. What's his name? Andrew, Andrew Wiggins', Wiggins dad. Andrew yeah. Wiggins' dad in the uh -huh. lineup. They had Andrew Wiggins' dad in the lineup. So he was like, yo, man, I'm finna goddamn switch this shit up, put you in, you know, let you start. You you, you want to do that? I was like, man, who the fuck want to start in damn NBA? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm here for. Fuck, coach, put me in this motherfucking lineup, man. Put me in that motherfucker. Yeah. So he put me in the lineup. That's when I took off from there, man, after that. man. I, I ain't look back. Out, man. But no. see, that's what it's about. Like, when you get that opportunity, to just eat. The fit. It be that fit, man. Uh -huh. A lot of motherfuckers get to places where, you know, they don't really have a fair chance to, like, you know, to shine and... And, and and be who they are, mm -hmm. and and unfortunately, when I left San Antonio, I, I'm not talking about San Antonio. San Antonio is a great place, and I, I swear to God, they drafted me, and I appreciate that shit so much. But when I got to when I got to damn Houston, when I had them damn handcuffs taken off me, man, <laughs> when I got them be what? and be who I want to be, man, and Let's play eat. the way I want, man, I swear I flourished, man. I went yeah. crazy. I took off, man, and that's what it's about, man. Just it'll be about the fit, man. A lot of mm -hmm. these kids, a lot of these guys, they go places, man. They it just ain't it ain't you know they got motherfucking veterans in front of them, you know. They and they ain't trying really, to groom them, ain't trying to help them and no, shit. No, they really ain't gonna get a fair shot uh -huh. either, because these motherfuckers, these veterans, they can help you now. Go and stay with you after practice, and you can follow their regimen and shit, and try to, you know, and emulate that shit and get your workout and shit like that. But they don't like when the popcorn start popping, that motherfucker stand get filled up. Nigga, he gonna be sitting over there. That nigga gonna be out there, cause you know that veteran, they gonna play that nigga, that veteran right. there. So. But I'm just saying, it's just it's about the fit, man. You gotta you gotta get like to a place where you can and to a lot of these guys' defense. A lot of these guys, when they come out of college, and they go just it's just be they go to like veteran teams and you know and ain't no chance these motherfuckers. That's why I'm glad they got the G League, mm -hmm. so they got so two the way players and shit. And shit. Yeah. yeah, so 
These guys don't just lose confidence. They can go down there uh -huh. and bust them off. And shit, that ass. shit, like what you were talking about, that shit will start affecting your mental health. Yeah, it does, the man. Nigga because, don't I mean, you've been plan. a killer all your life. Yeah. And then you just become like, damn, these motherfuckers just done, just, I can't do shit no more. I, I ain't no way I'm going to play tonight. Nah, motherfucker, we're going to send you down here. It's like the farm league, but it's really not, though, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. still. Cause they still. Because they shit, making, some of them guys ain't be packed the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, motherfuckers be making like, my. I mean, my little, my, my nephew with the sexes, Jaden Springer, shit, he, I know he made 1.5. Oh, he hard, too. He can bounce. Yeah. yeah. Bouncy I know hell. he made about 1.5. Yeah. You know, 1.4, somewhere around there. Yeah. And shit, he played, he was a two-way guy. And so, so I'm just oh, saying, so, you know, and, and he done developed so well. I mean, so that's what I like about you ain't got to go across the water. You know, all the yeah, time. Yeah, go get over still like, that's what it used to be. No, 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 don't, no, that's what I've been ready to yeah. say. <laughs> now, I love that. No, I'm sorry, I ain't knocking over there now, but I mean, you don't have to travel as far. You still. But niggas want to get but money, money right is here. money. Yeah. yeah, money is money. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, overseas is good money too, now, like he just said. Now, mm. not knocking overseas. Ain't money. nothing like the league, though. Yeah, yeah nah, being nah, over man. here close to niggas you know, and then Home it families. costs more to fly them out over there. <laughs> niggas still want <laughs> to yeah, still want to be hitting shit from college and high school. <laughs> <laughs> Give it oh, real. Shit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, but yeah. For real. <laughs> hey, so look, tell us this, man. Who's some of the players that you look at now? Like, you know, with the, how the NBA is now that you look at, like, nah, I, I like his game. I like LeBron. I mean, I like so many of these guys. I like LeBron. I like. So look, it's a lot. It, a lot of people debate this. Could LeBron have survived in y'all era? Oh yeah, of course, easily. Thank you, man. That's yes. all. Why are you acting like easily. we be saying he wouldn't? Easily. He's six eight easily. two seventy. Would have been yes. one of the better ones too. Yeah. It, it take mad match to tell y'all niggas. Yeah, they ain't want to listen one of the to better me. Ones. He got the body. He got the. He could shoot it. He's six eight. But he ain't. Yeah. He ain't got this all. Yeah, game but still, got you gotta game. understand. That girt he got, he's so big and he's so that, that's he, that's girt. Come on, that's what I'm going to He gonna got that. Nah, he an OG. He gonna, he gonna run. Through your he gonna run through your motherfucker. He gonna, he gonna run over your ass. You know, like LeBron. I couldn't guard. I couldn't. I can't guard LeBron. You couldn't do shit with him. Shit, no. How you can know, I guard? Just that? back up. Let him shoot. shoot. No, man. That man can shoot too. I, I mean, I can do well, that. Tell him when you saw Luca. I told oh, him shit. Oh, Luca. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Nah. Oh, man. Oh, before he, he saw Luca, he, got, oh, he thought he could do stand, stand the Yo, that motherfucker. I was a little kid. <laughs> was. I was a little kid standing by that big old motherfucking boy. That boy big as hell, man. Luca. I was like, God damn. He don't, Point how tall he is? Man, six, eight, six, nine? I don't know. Luca might be six, eight. Yeah, I think he about six eight, man. But you got to see the size, though. His yeah. size, yeah. You got to see how big he is, though. He like, is he wide? Yeah. like yeah. He got to be about two twenty, two eighteen. He's a big old dude, man. Yeah. Oh, he my got goodness. some size. This like... kid's big nowadays, but I'd have, I'd have struggled in this month. Cause I'd you know, just... like in in the eighties and nineties. Like the bigs were big, but now that shit got down. Nigga wings and point guards. Nigga they they wings. Yeah. I say that the NBA they draft length. Right. They want that seven foot yeah. wingspan and shit and all that shit. Yeah. Like I got long ass arms to be six four. Nah, you for know, sure. My shit long as hell, but they want them niggas with them arms touching that flower over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they want them niggas all. They want them niggas all. So, but that's the, that's what they looking for. But nah, I, I love the NBA. But there's so many guys that I, I mean, I I will be talking like once again all night, all day about who I. Like in the NBA, I mean, I miss a lot of motherfuckers. Like I love Jimmy Butler, you know. I, I he got I, dog in him, huh? Man, yeah, man. He just a he just a damn winner. Yeah, you know. I mean, that's what he is, and I'm so many of these motherfuckers. I mean, I mean, I, Joel Embiid. I mean, there's so many guys. I can keep going on and on. What you do Pat with that man? first check you got? I mean, uh, bought some dope. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, let me start just kidding. Yeah. Was, <laughs> flip some dope. Was, <laughs> no. We back, baby. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yes, sir. We got a double of money. The we, real. They ain't give us nothing back then, boy. I had to got them. I, I, I told you how low I went. Nigga, lead the that, game right in the trap. I had to flip that money. Flipped him. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> did something for my mom. <laughs> Word. Did something for my mom. Man, did, respect you know, that. Yeah, put my mom's in the crib and, you know, but I, I had to flip that money. <laughs> how the, how the, uh, how the family, how the family life was then, like, for you, like, you were the first, like, first one to, like, make it, like. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Really out of, well, Gainesville. Well, where the area you was at, Gainesville, huh? Florida, really yeah. wasn't nobody. Well, I mean, after me, you know, you got Clinton Porter. So yeah, uh-huh. You got, uh, shit, I mean, I don't want to miss no damn body. I'm so high up this motherfucker right now. <laughs> oh, man, I forget. Uh, Clinton Porter's, uh. Shit, uh, Gainesville, what, uh, Trey Mann, right now. Oh, okay. Clint Porter's with yeah, 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 too. Trey uh, Mann's from Gainesville? Yeah. yeah. I ain't know that. That's from yeah. Boston. Trey, Trey Mann yeah. got game. He yeah, might Trey Mann. Oh, yeah. the guard. Yeah, the guard. Yeah. Okay, see. Oh, I thought Terrence Mann. Oh, yeah. Okay. Trey, yeah, Trey Mann. Nah, Trey got game. Yeah, Trey Mann. He, 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 he went to the University of Florida again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, you say two years, Trey Mann. Uh, shit, there's some motherfuckers. I mean, so many of us, man. Uh, I'm sorry, homeboys. I'm I'm stuck up. No, nah, it is. They know it ain't Gainesville, though. You, did you think about any other college or you knew automatically for No, no, no. I was going to go to, uh, you know, North Carolina State had just won the national championship in 83. Jimmy I come out in 84. Uh -huh. So, you know, Jim Valvano, God bless you. You know, he was, he, he recruited me real tough. He was out of North Carolina State uh -huh. and, um, and, and Florida. But my old country ass, you know, I had never been nowhere really like that, you know. You country? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's crazy. Gainesville, yeah. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't never been to Gainesville? <laughs> nah, I never been to Gainesville. Oh, my goodness, man. Ain't no yeah. reason. That's why I was saying no reason to go there. <laughs> what? Oh, Those niggas be barefooted today. Yeah, them motherfuckers. Yeah, this shit is crazy. Yes, it, it, but back in the day, it was way, it, it, it was bad. So, so um, I'm, you know, and um, I was from Gainesville, and I never had been nowhere, really. Mm -hmm. So, and then... Jim Valvana, he used to show up at uh, at my high school and shit. They had just won a national championship, 83. And then everybody'd be like, you know, I'm down the hill smoking dope. <laughs> Pulling the weed. I ain't even in class. They tell me, yo, nigga. You know, I had to watch out niggas for me when I was in high school. <laughs> Come tell me, nigga. Hey, tell me what's going on up there. Nigga, why I'm down here blowing in the tree. I ain't going. <sighs> But nigga tell me, hey, boy, Jim Valvano up there, boy, he got, you better get on up there, boy. Go, go on running in class. He coming to your class. <laughs> so I run up the motherfucker, and then I said, that's how hard he was after me. He's, he stayed in Gainesville. Yeah. Oh, so wow. University of Florida, Monty Tao, he hid me. Coach Tao, you know what I'm talking about. He hid me from that. He hid me from the North Carolina State for like a month. Like, like he just hid me. And, and, um, and then, so, cause, I, and then I end up, long story short, I end up signing with, I went up and visit North Carolina State, and I got on a damn plane, really hadn't flew no goddamn well. Yeah. Oh, I'm wow. a country boy. Yeah. I'm a country boy. I ain't been no goddamn well. Right. You know, my, you know well, mama don't let us go nowhere too tough. So, my goddamn, so I flew out there, I flew over there to uh, Raleigh, Shit on their private uh, jet and shit. I got in that motherfucking guy off the plane. I felt as soon as I got out the damn off the uh, out the damn plane, walking down the steps. I said, "Oh shit, I don't think I could do this. <laughs> this shit too goddamn far away from home right here." Mm. I was like, "God damn, I don't think I could do this shit. This shit too far." Away. You ain't seen the campus or nothing. I ain't seen you went back. <laughs> you went back immediately up. Yeah, I goddamn no. I went on. I went and I went and visited that. Okay. <laughs> I went on the campus and visited that. And but your mind was made up way before you yes, saw that motherfucker. Nigga, I was like, yeah, nigga, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I ain't finna be this far away from my mom. What else? Too much turbulence or something on the plane? No, it wasn't shit. Going on. <laughs> that shit was too fucking far. <laughs> nigga, that flight was like fucking. Two hours and some chains and shit. I was like, oh shit. Wait, flight ooh. just got damn long. I if, wonder how goddamn. If you would have drove, you would have uh, lost your motherfucker. Oh, my mama and them yeah. motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to afford to yeah. goddamn fly. So I know them motherfuckers have to drive. Ain't gonna be coming off. to my yeah. I said, no goddamn way here. I can do this shit right here. But I swear to God, the visit was one of the best visits I. I went on. I took all six of my goddamn visits. Hell yeah. They say yeah. you get six visits. I took all six of the motherfuckers. I took six in football. And I took six in basketball. Mm, wow. I was I That's missed cool. school my whole goddamn senior. <laughs> yeah. I goddamn. You knew there. you was out of there. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. I was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, then I damn um, Jim Valvano, he put on a show for me. I mean, 
I met his family. God bless him. He's a great man, yeah, man. Good, Everything good they say about him is the truth. I mean, with that cancer, I mean, I'm sorry that, I mean, that was a great man. But um, um, uh, the team, what he did for me when I went to the store, when I, just the way, when I walked in that damn arena when I at North Carolina State, nobody had never did that shit for me. What he did for me, that shit was crazy as hell. Yeah. The motherfuckers had the cheerleaders, the band, they had a crowd in that motherfucker. They had that motherfucker. And you still were like, why not? Nah. 8,000 motherfuckers. <laughs> Can't do it. They had like 8,000 motherfuckers in that motherfucker when I walked in that jam. Damn, they, had, they had a Vernon Maxwell. God damn I can dress. tell it still touched your heart to this day, yeah. but you, I really your mind was made up. Well, I really wanted to play with the motherfuckers because they had a good squad. And in Florida, I know they motherfuckers were rebuilding. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to fuck with the motherfuckers. So, but I was like, shit, this shit too far away from my mom. I'm a country boy. Even though my mom should beat the shit out of me, but I had to stay close <laughs> to her ass. But for sure. Yeah, I had to stay close to her. But um, but uh, but uh that was one of the best visits ever, man. And then meeting his family and, and stuff like that. And just, I never ate a steak that big where he fed me. That's the first time I ever steak bigger than the plate. <laughs> the damn big ass plate this big. I, I never ate a goddamn steak bigger than a plate like that. So in I, Florida ain't have to do shit. Shit, Florida. No, nah, I just, I, when I got back, because I had said, they asked me what I was going to do. My mama told me when I left that motherfucker, nigga, one thing you better not do, don't put your name on shit. Yeah. Don't sign Hell shit. Yeah. I said, mom, don't worry about it. I ain't going to sign nothing. So, and then when I left North Carolina State, they asked me what I want to do. So I verbally committed to the ass. Mm. With the busy fall season already in swing, you might be looking for a wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Damn, Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll hold on, wait one minute, wait one more minute. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. Man, this is good. Too busy this fall to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store. And you know how them grocery store lines be long. It might be two cashiers working. One of them got an attitude. You can skip all that while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Then get back to crushing your goals. This October, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. I'm sorry for smacking. This is so good. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals. Delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash 85sports50 and use code 85sports50 to get 50% off. That's code 85sports50 at factormeals.com slash 85 sports 50. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, oh. All right, go get it. I said, like, <laughs> I just told him, yeah, motherfucker, I'm gonna sign with you, motherfucker. I like that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I like you, man. You a real nigga, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna sign with you, motherfucker. I like you, motherfucker. I'm gonna sign with you. <laughs> I don't even went bragging. We got well, it. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's the damn thing they shouldn't have done. Because then, you know, him and Jim Valvano, they best friends. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, uh, my man. So they best friends. So, and then he told Jim Valvano, I mean, Valvano, when he told him, he came on TV. Oh, my man got a diaper dandy coming over there to North Carolina State. They came out mm. on, on ESPN. Mm. My mom and them was seeing that shit. I was in the air coming back to Gainesville on North Carolina State plane. Mm -hmm. And then when I landed, I'm looking at my mama. I was like, what the fuck she doing? Beat your what the mama doing here? What the hell she doing this motherfucker? I didn't know she was going to be here. And Florida coaches and shit, the whole coaching staff and shit, they... When I walk off the plane, off the, get off the plane, walk on the tarmac and shit, they motherfuckers, all oh, this motherfucker, this stats, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing here? So, and then my mom told me, boy, what the fuck you done done? I said, I ain't did nothing, mom. What you talking about? I just said I was going to go somewhere. Damn, I like the damn school. Yeah. Right. But she said, you ain't signed. I was like, because she knows this shit, this, 
No, no, I, I can't. This shit was this was a business deal. We had, yeah. big, <laughs> we had with Florida. We had a business deal going on with Florida. Yeah. For sure. So we had to uh, I understand. I had, I had, to make sure, yeah. had to make sure we get this business deal done with Florida, yeah. you know, with this motherfucking. This shit bigger than Nino Brown. There you go. <laughs> 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 That's all I'm saying. We had to get this motherfucking biz ass. Yeah. We had to get the bag. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Fuck that state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, yeah. And back then, motherfuckers wasn't really getting out bags. No, yeah. Facts. In the then, 80s, hell. I was Mr. Basketball in the state of Florida, too, so coming mm. out in basketball. So I was the number one player in the state, you know, so... And, um, you know, Mitch Richmond, all them boys come out with me. No, but, uh, Mitch yeah, Richmond yeah, yeah, went yeah. to Sacramento. Yeah, we'll kill him, man, kill him. Yeah. yeah but, uh, no, I didn't know he was from Florida, though. Yeah, no, yeah, you. down there south. Damn. Yeah, yeah, so, but yeah, but uh, Mr. Basketball, so, and they, wherever I was going to go, they had to pay my mom. Yeah, for you sure. Know, mom had to get her something. I had to get me, too. <laughs> so, hey, so look, that was with basketball. If you would have uh, stayed with football, what school you were looking at then? I would probably went to Gators. You the one the Gators? Yeah. Oh, okay. They wanted me to play both ways. Was Emmett right? there when? Yeah. Yeah, he Emmett was there. He came there when I was a rising junior. He was a freshman. Oh, okay, they wanted okay. me. They wanted me to play when I was there. They wanted. They asked. They kept oh. asking me to play. They wanted me. To, I was a corner. corner. He was a corner. Corner. I was a corner. Yeah, I was a corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Man, pop your shit, man. Yeah. Charlie Ward. <laughs> we, them boys younger than me, though. Charlie Ward. Yeah, yeah Charlie yeah, Ward came right. after him. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dion, them, he, he Dion, them Georgia, younger Florida than me. Because he had Georgia-Florida line. That, uh, yeah, Dion, Charlie them Ward. younger than me. Uh-huh. All them boys younger than me. What you think? What, so how you feel about what he doing at... Old, uh, I'm an old ass. I'm 58. Man, so, well, shit, you move around better than some uh, niggas 30. Man, nah, I keep myself some <laughs> yeah. shit. After I got this damn knee done, I'm, I'm perfect now. I'm... I'm you good. just uh, brought up Dion. How you feel about what he doing in Colorado? Nah, man, I love Dion. You know, my homeboy. You know, Florida yeah. boy. You know, I mean, he's just blessed. That's what he do. Yeah. You know, he he always get people to buy into what he's, what For he's sure. about. Because, and... nigga, I watch man, every Colorado I mean, game, nigga. I mean, everybody. I mean, everybody do. Yeah. You ain't the only one. Yeah, fact. You ain't the only one, my peoples. We Damn, all do. We ain't even no college I mean, football what? play. Over when there. they get a bye week, they yeah. be like, well, yeah, goddamn, we got to go to the bar and just get some damn drink. Yeah. Well, goddamn, ain't nothing to watch. <laughs> Colorado ain't playing at one. For sure. I'm at 12. But damn. Now, nah, so love. you being goddamn number one football player at the time, you That's crazy. What, what made you choose basketball, though? Well, I was one of them. Um, shit, um, long, I just felt like longevity. I was a motherfucker yeah, coming sure. out of high school, 6'4". Motherfucker, 145 pounds. Oh, six four so, corner? Yeah. Shit. That's different. 145, yeah. I was that in fifth grade. I had, <laughs> <laughs> I had 16 picks, though. Shit. One season? Off. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. Yeah. Hey, what them young nigga be doing? Right. 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 You can't throw this way. You couldn't don't, throw this way. Don't throw this right. way. And you fast as shit, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was 4'2", 40. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Nigga. Fast, yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah, I was forty four two forty. I was punt return. That Florida speed be different, different anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in the water rabbits. down there. Though. Yeah, that's right. It's in the water down there. But I did all that shit though. Yeah, wow. Um, but never four wanna, two forty. You gotta be yeah. talked about one of the best athlete conversations, bro. Like yeah. that's crazy. yeah. Oh yeah, down there. Like your Florida, name needs to come up me, with one of the best athletes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me down in Florida. Me, Dion. It's a bunch of us down in Florida that came out down there. No disrespect to all my homies. Y'all know who y'all are. That's though. Cr- wow. But it's yeah, we all. all it's, just, it's a bunch of us. Yeah, mm-hmm. that did both sports and at a high level. Yeah, at a high level. Nigga, sixteen picks. That's yeah, oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nigga. Oh yeah, my senior year, sixteen picks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, football, baseball. I did when I was younger, though. Oh, but yeah, okay, yeah, okay. That yeah. shit wasn't for me. I, but I should have stayed with that shit. <laughs> shit, how them chicks, they get a lot oh, of that baseball goodness. shit. Oh, my Them motherfuckers get right. paid like that damn Nigga, NBA fast night. as you are. I know it. That's what I'm saying. They'll just put you yeah. in the still a base. Yeah, that's it. Making a million to still <laughs> that's a base. That's it. Yeah. Nigga, I know y'all ain't finna throw him out. Mm-mm. There was a bunch of motherfuckers, though, ran like me, though. You know, back in Florida shit. I mean, I ran a little track, too, though, but... 
You know, it was a bunch of motherfuckers ran like me, you know, down Yeah, like that was just like the norm oh, down there at the time. Know, we ain't had no motherfuckers teach you how to run back then. Yeah. You know, these motherfuckers. Man, got... they getting trained and stuff. <laughs> how they motherfucker... running? <laughs> the, mother... the motherfuckers know how to run through the wind. The motherfuckers got down. The motherfuckers be treading that wind. The motherfuckers. Hey, uh, that wind man, blow your motherfuckers had... This motherfucker, we was running wild. <laughs> Like we swimming and shit, but we still running four twos. Just yeah. thinking we knew how to run. And we yeah. had training to teach us how to run. <laughs> this shit's real, man. I'm just saying, it's just real, man. But no. I mean, we just raw ass athletes yeah, back then. Nah, for you know, sure. That's it. That funny as fuck. Yeah. We, gotta have, we gotta have that clip. <laughs> hey, you ain't never had to get on a, get on nobody's ass? I mean, as far as what are we saying now, talk to me. Like, you know, like, <laughs> not, not, not so much physical, like verbally, like, hey, bro, I ain't one of them. Because cause you really, you really like that. Like, you ain't one of them. <laughs> you know, when you go to a team, hey, I don't play like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of motherfuckers don't play with me. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't do a lot of playing. I don't really know a lot of motherfuckers either. Yeah. So... Motherfucker, you don't know me, motherfucker. Don't play with me. Right. You know, Straight I'm up. Slap shit at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with my mama, Gracie Mae Maxwell. Yeah. Don't slap shit at you. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I believe every I word. Believe every I believe word. every motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, uh, like, which one of your teammates back in Houston was like your road dog? He would go out, hit the town with all the motherfuckers, Kenny. Sam, yeah, I'm telling all you motherfuckers, Kenny, Sam, Mario, <laughs> goddamn Robert, uh, shit, uh, shit, the white boys, all the motherfuckers, <laughs> shit. I had all the motherfuckers. I dreamed they never fuck with us, though. Yeah. I ain't gonna dream you ain't. I ain't tell you dream, not dream. But all the mother motherfuckers, we was a party like a rock star. Anytime you get to drinking, the niggas start seeming cooler anyway then. Like, nah, you know, man, that white boy ain't have bad. These niggas be giving <laughs> Be forgetting, man. They even have wives and shit. We always married and shit. We always married and shit, but we wasn't doing nothing extra now. Right. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. just none of that. Yeah, in the bar just, just like, yeah, just you know, bar. just vibing and shit. Yeah. You know, right. we wasn't like doing no sexual shit. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, no, no, no. We ain't did none yeah. of that shit. None of us now. We wasn't cheating. Oh, nah, I know nah, that. No, we keep that we shit clean. We already know that. Well, and what was, but like, Back then, like, what was, like, life on the road like? You know what I'm saying? Man, it's like I now. just said, man, like a rock star, like motherfucking these goddamn young guys, these rapper niggas, when they go out there and go on concerts and shit, do these damn tours and shit, that's what we was on tour. Yeah. And from yeah. the fucking hotel we walk in, and they try to keep it discreet and shit about where we was going to be But staying. they find out. Boy, I don't know how these motherfucking girls find out, man. Be a, yeah. a goddamn... Lobby full of motherfuckers, but we come through that motherfucker like we got them in the White House. Waving us. <laughs> hey, baby. I see you, girl. Girl, don't you go nowhere. You stay right there. We'll come back and get a drink with you. Hey, baby. What's up? How y'all doing? This is crazy, man. It's like rock star type Cause you shit. was like notable though. Like you oh, were, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah, you yeah, you yeah, weren't yeah. no nigga nah, like nah, you know how sometimes no well, we were talking about like when we see football players. You know them by their jerseys, but once them niggas take their helmet off, you don't know, you don't know who they, they is. is. Right, right, right. So it's right. like a different like right, notoriety, right. like with you playing yeah, basketball yeah, and yeah, football yeah, yeah, type yeah. shit. But see, I, I I go both. You know, I grow my hair. I, I just uh -huh. grow my shit back. So I, you know, I, I'm just glad I'm able to grow up. Yeah, because there's a lot of niggas who can't yeah, do that shit. Yeah, get the eight. And then, uh, but I'm going to cut this shit off in the summertime. I'm going to be balling. So uh -huh. you know, I go ball in the summer. Grow the shit back in the Just show range just, with the shit. Just, just let <laughs> niggas know that's what I can do. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's get, it. Get, get you a little nappy tilt. Yeah, that's yeah. something. I'm trying to grow this shit out some more while I can start doing that, whatever them both with that little sponge shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sponge this motherfucker up too. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you hey. are. Yeah. No, bro, that, that take off about 20 years on you. Like, you look like you're in your 30s. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, oh, boy, goddamn. I, I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you might got to hit Magic City before you leave. Nigga, oh, boy, hey, now. <laughs> I got, 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 I got
<laughs> How you think social media would affect your time period? Man, I would have been like suspended, kicked out the league. <laughs> that shit would have fucked me up, man. That shit would have fucked me all the way up, nigga. I mean, I couldn't have survived on this shit, man. Nigga, I couldn't have. Nigga, I'm glad I ain't in this shit right now. I would have wished I'd got these checks. Yeah. yeah. But goddamn, boy, social media, boy, I wouldn't have made it, nigga. All that damn yeah. dope I was smoking outside while I'm going home, <laughs> staying in the street, all that shit. I'm sorry. I'm oh, yeah. Out. I was everywhere, man. I was, I wasn't, oh, my goodness. You done made shade room so much. Oh, my goodness, man. All that goddamn TMZ shit. They yes. got all that shit. What they call that shit? That's what it's called? Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, man I just stayed on that motherfucker. Oh, Lord. This shit would have been Yeah, because it don't even be you. It be other folks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 motherfucker called me every night. What you, what you would have say, like, nigga, like, you with nigga, you doing something, like, nigga got the camera, like, what you, like, nigga no. do not do that type I of shit. I had some niggas out of suck on the ass. I'd have sucked some niggas. Go get them niggas, man. Get that goddamn phone. Go bust that goddamn phone up, nigga. And get that nigga. And get that nigga the money for that phone, man. What the fuck are you doing, man? Hey, at least you paid. Tell that them, nigga, huh? Go fifteen hundred. Get that nigga. Hey, goddamn, man, well, back young, then, the motherfucker phone and I'm fucking up. Listen. Goddamn right. Goddamn. Don't let the motherfuckers record you, Ja. <laughs> I'm but that nigga, like, man. Give me that goddamn phone. Give me that goddamn phone, Ja. Man, that shit shouldn't have never came out, my nigga. Is I be I knowing job, like the man. goddamn athletes, they be sorry. having NDA with the women. Be all right, These niggas got to start having NDA with niggas around them too. Right, right, bro. Right, cause right. it, it nah. don't be these niggas be more groupies than Where the women. Is, don't they, my nigga? Yes, they do nowadays. I yeah. see it used nigga. to be back in my days the women. Yeah, no, it's the niggas. <laughs> these niggas be stopping the women yeah, from yeah, getting yeah, to the niggas. Man, yeah, bitches yeah, don't want you. Get the fuck out the way, bro. Come on, man. Yes, nigga, get out the way. What that goddamn song used to say? Move, bitch. <laughs> get out the way. Get your ass out the way. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are we doing? Hey. So you got you got to see Mike in his prime. Oh my goodness! How, how was that watching Michael join? <laughs> well, goddamn movie, For real, motherfucking rated X X X. X, X. <laughs> I motherfucking X X X. That shit, that shit was crazy, boy. Goddamn, I never seen no motherfucker like that till I played against that motherfucker. Cause he was everything he they said he was. Yeah, you know. Uh, but look, but I think real he was shit. more than what they said he was. Shit. They Before fuck. that, did you you know how sometimes they 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 talk about people? Did you be like they just overrated? Nah, yeah, I seen a lot of that shit. <laughs> I, I did a lot of that shit, but shit. Yeah, I got there with that motherfucker. That motherfucker got him true. Yeah, that motherfucker black. No Jesus. questions. Like, we used to call him Black Jesus. Black Jesus. What, was the, what was the first matchup like? It was like everything I thought it would be. Shit, <laughs> my motherfucker was gonna go at me. And then he didn't know I was getting ready to go back at his motherfucking ass. Mm. You know, because, you know, like, one thing a motherfucker to play good offense like that, they don't really play, play good. defense. They, I mean, they can play good defense. They, they say this motherfucker, know. they say it might play good defense. But shit, if I get a chance to hit you with two, three combo moves, nigga, I'm going to get by you too. And that's what I used to do too. Dream, I'm sorry. This motherfucker just went at me. Shit, I'm gonna go at him. I was snatching this motherfucking ass too. <laughs> yeah, for and sure. And getting there too. So I was doing them like. It was I mean, the competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was goddamn going back and forth. They I mean, won. Chicago Stadium. We we was beating their ass all the time. You know, we had beat, I mean, I swear, I swear, I mean, I, I probably lost that motherfucker probably twice. Yeah, you know, you out know, of all the times. With the Rockets, only lost Yeah, with the boys, Rockets, yeah. man. We was beating the shit out of them boys, man. We were beating mm -hmm. their ass, man. It was, I mean, we're going to Chicago Stadium, old ass stadium. Little ass walk them on the ground, hitting them up from white folks up there. We out in there up in there like we slaves. Down yeah. on the ground. Motherfucker beating on the ground, kicking on the ground and shit. We walking up there, the motherfuckers pouring popcorns on your head, walking up the steps and shit. You know, you ran that motherfucker, you really gonna get dashed going down the tail. For die. real? They done hit you right with beers and shit. Nigga, Boys. imagine losing a nigga Pope Bill. That's what they're gonna be doing. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they, you might get that done too, but when you win, for real, oh, yeah. it's they old Chicago Stadium. You already stadium. know the run like that. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Hey, but, I mean, I'm gonna tell you this real quick. I was watching Winning Time. Uh, I don't know you see that on HBO. They've been talking about the series between like Boston and the Lakers. I ain't know they were so racist like that in Boston. Shit, what the hell you talking about, boy? Yeah. Back in them damn days, boy. You ain't no Boston. Them motherfuckers racist hell right now no. today, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> they still today. But but how it was back then? No, it was, it was like crazy. They... Now just think if it's still today, it's reckonable. Just think that it was back then. 
Boy, that shit was horrible. You know what? Imagine them. Them motherfuckers just got to go down there, motherfucker, man, and play in the wintertime, man. Them motherfuckers don't even have the heat on for them motherfuckers when they go in that motherfucker. Let's be can't get out the goddamn street clothes but right before the game. It's so goddamn cold. Niggas got to keep on them goddamn shirlings they had on. Them niggas had to. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas had to. Yo, I'm on everything I love. You know, this shit yeah. is goddamn. I mean, it was cold as motherfuckers. The white folks kept that shit like an ice block in the goddamn locker room, man. And so I done seen it done to us before, too, you know? So, but, uh, man, it was different over there, man. I played in the old damn Boston, like, stadium and shit. Right, so, for sure. So, but I'm just saying, man, but, yeah, that shit, that, them, them motherfuckers say anything out their mouth up there, too, because, yeah. like, you know, you know, white folks, when they got you out number, now they're going to yeah. goddamn act the fool over. And they feel like they got yeah, they the money, them, you yeah. playing for them. Yeah, but the motherfuckers, they, they got you out number, now they'll tell you, nigga, fuck you. Mm-hmm. And then... Nigga, you, what you gonna do? Nigga, all them white folk, you up there. You right there, them, I mean, you outside this motherfucking establishment in, in a bar. White folk beat the brakes off you up there. Especially you, when man. they got like I 60 to 2. Play, they say they got some beautiful women up there, them Cape Verdean girls now. Woo! No okay. case. See, that man know about him. Yes. Y'all ain't never heard about that. See, I only been, Y'all ain't never heard about that. I only Kate been to Boston one Birdie time. Is yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I've been to Boston Birdie one is. time. Now, they say them girls they are different. like French and African. Yeah, Boston real international. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. They right. city right. right. closed down early, too, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They city yeah. don't stay open late. No. When I was there one time, they were like that. I was like, what's, what's the spot? They were like, it clo- everything closed here like at one. Shit, ever since they tried to kill my nigga Paul Pierce. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had to shut that shit down. Mm. That's why they shut that shit down. Them niggas tried to kill my nigga. Yeah. For nothing. Jealousy. You fuck with that boy Paul Pierce? Yes, yeah, my nigga. I love Paul Pierce. Shout out to my nigga Shout Paul Pierce. Shout out to Pierce. Paul you Pierce. Know, the truth. Damn right. Damn right. The truth. Yeah. That's right. My nigga. <laughs> love all my young boys, man. Hey, you got to, so, uh, uh, you know, you got to play against Jordan in his prime, but you saw early Kobe, like, you know, before they went on, or as they was going on their run, what did you think, you know, in comparison of Jordan and Kobe? What did you think about Kobe's game? Well, God bless you, first of all, Kobe. Um, uh, great man, great husband. I mean, great father. I mean, but, uh, I mean, uh, shit, I love Kobe to death. I saw him play in high school. He came and played against us in Philly. Uh, well, John Lucas invited him over there. She he tore our ass up over there in Philly, make a long story So he killed our ass. I was telling him, boy, you ready? You better come on, goddamn, boy. Do you you got them, you ready to go, man. He was like I, open run, like y'all just hooping or yes. something? Yes. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. he was in high Damn. school. He was, he was at Laura Marion, and John Lucas used to bring him over all the time when I was with the Sixers and, um, and, 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 and to play with us. And um and uh so uh me and Stackhouse and all us and um and shit that motherfuckers just go at me and stack. I mean For real? shit. I, shit yeah man that motherfuckers in a, man that motherfucker Kobe you know Kobe that motherfucker ain't got no he ain't got no fear. Yeah yeah yeah. That motherfuckers is just uh, <clears throat> kill kill kill. You know and that's where he was. So it it was in high school. Yes then. man he was a killer in, he was fucking killer in high school. Yeah. It was unbelievable what he used to do to motherfuckers in high school. He used to do some unbelievable shit in high school. That motherfucker, and then he's then when he got to the league and shit, and then Michael became like a mentor, mm-hmm. and he started like, you know, patterning this game after Mike, just looking at all that goddamn film, and the motherfucker started running up the damn flow like Mike, <laughs> wagging his goddamn tongue out his motherfucking mouth like Mike, and goddamn, goddamn shooting that motherfucker like Mike, and. I said, God damn, this motherfucker Mike. <laughs> baby Mike, this motherfucker, this motherfucker baby Mike. Now, yeah. yeah, damn, now, I love, Kobe was a bad motherfucker, man. God damn, man. I, I'm, I was just happy to see the man, and it was sad what happened, you know, unfortunately. For sure, for but, sure. Yeah. Man, don't want to talk about that. Just talk about the good Kobe, the good stuff, and, and the family. And, uh, but uh, great kid, man. I mean, I, I mean, shit, missing, uh, shit, uh, I mean. Sad man. So you knew, <clears throat> you knew like when John Lucas was bringing him over there to play against you, like because he doing y'all in the NBA. So you like, oh nigga, you ready to be in the NBA? Oh yeah, I told him, yeah, shit. After that yeah, practice, shit, I just tell him, boy, you better come on, boy, cause shit, niggas coming out to, out, out of high school, coming in this motherfucker, you better go yeah. and get your money. Yeah, go ahead and get your money, and shit. Ain't no sense you going to college. Yeah, <laughs> shit, <laughs> nigga, he would have terrorized. Oh the my niggas. goodness, oh my shit, college would have been crazy. So he came out right on the league. Yeah, but shit, he was he was he was tough. 
That motherfucker was tough. He was one. Oh my goodness, yes, that was a nightmare too. Yeah, that motherfucker <laughs> was a nightmare. <laughs> yes, that was a nightmare. You, have, you, have, you were having Jordan flashbacks guarding Kobe a little bit, like a little. Yeah, when, well, I never really. I, I I got a little bit of the the the. I ain't really get that killer Kobe. Right, he, he was, was you know he young. was really young. Yeah, he was young. They had just started going. Yeah, I had run. crossed him over in the damn farm and hit him with the game. Man. <laughs> Kobe, I ain't mean to talk about Kobe because I don't really <laughs> want to do that, man. Go, my man. God bless you, Kobe. Yeah, I love you too much, so. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, I you know he was young, cat, young pup, you know? young pup. Yeah. He was yeah. still like coming of age. Yeah, yeah. So he was playing behind guys mm -hmm. over there with the Lakers when they first come in. You know. He wasn't came right in starting, so right. you know, and then you know, so but you know, I I, I love that man. That, that yeah, for man. sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, yeah. now you know, playing against Mike, we all ever cool enough to like hang out after the game, or it was just too much like black motherfuckers going on on the court. No, no, <laughs> no. Nah, nah. You know when you know after the games, the games be over. And shit, Max, I'm cool. Okay. You know, I mean, <laughs> I ain't got no problem with your motherfucking ass. You ain't got no jersey on, nigga. Yeah. And I ain't got one on either. Yeah. You know, that shit over with, yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga, this shit's over with, nigga. Yeah. But like motherfucker, like I told motherfucker, like Kenny Smith said, motherfucker Mike said, motherfucker Vernon, I keep telling the story, but it's funny to me. Because, say, I got them ready to fight Mike out there in the game. And Mike said, God damn, Kenny, what's up, this motherfucker? <laughs> This nigga kind of crazy. This motherfucker off, man. This motherfucker. What's going on with this nigga? This nigga want to fight me the whole goddamn game. I mean, really want to fight me and bring his son over there to the locker room with all that Michael Jordan shit on, man. <laughs> and asked me to sign this shit, man. I was like, man, what the fuck? This nigga's crazy for real, man. So, yeah, man. But it was just like, when the, yeah, when the, goddamn, when the, the clock on went, yeah, we, man, we family, man. Yeah. We in the same <laughs> We in the same goddamn fraternity, nigga. We in the NBA. That nigga might start bringing the ball up nigga. on the other side. Like, nigga, man, yeah, another nigga, nigga we in me, the nigga. NBA, nigga. We done both made it, nigga. Yeah. Oh, fuck this shit, nigga. We nah, just competing, nigga. <laughs> you know, your son had a uh, bulls oh, gear. Yeah, a whole son. motherfucker Mike head to toe. I hadn't dressed out and all that shit. Sign all that shit, Mike. <laughs> hit, him <my> dad, <laughs> hit, him. hit him on his ass. Hit him right there. Hit him, <laughs> <laughs> hit him everywhere. <laughs> Hit him up. <laughs> no, nah, real shit. Yeah, now I know right. Kenny always bring up, you know, because y'all y'all won back to back when he left. My, mm, when he my left, man. and then he came back only like seventeen games, and y'all beat you know the Magic, who they lost to. Now, do you feel like I know what you're gonna say, but y'all, if Mike was there for the full season, y'all probably would have saw them in the finals. I would think. But you know that shit, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know, man. I, I don't know what the playoffs would have brought, but yeah. and I know y'all motherfuckers ain't never seen them motherfuckers lose a lose a goddamn series, okay? But goddamn it, I'm telling you, motherfuckers, goddamn it. I'm looking at all goddamn. What are these cameras at? What are they motherfuckers they all right. run. <laughs> I'm looking at all these motherfuckers. I mean, I'm telling you, motherfuckers, right now, goddamn it, goddamn it. We would have knocked their motherfucking ass off. Yeah. They would have lost us, goddamn. He would have been six and one. Man, them uh, they got them right. They had this. Oh, what? They ain't had nobody. I mean, go, go down the lineup. Go through the lineup. I, 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 under, I understand that. Shit, we had motherfucking goddamn big African back there blocking up everything. <laughs> blocking everything. Yeah. Mike's come through there. They wouldn't have had nobody for Hakeem, though. Man, I'm trying to tell you. What a guy. Goddamn uh, Cotwright and goddamn uh, 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 my mm -hmm. homeboy Will Purdue. Yeah. Yeah, well, Luke Longley, not yet. But he not, not, yet. not, not yet. But either way, so <laughs> man, them motherfuckers getting raped, man. That's how we used to beat them yeah. because they ain't had nobody to stop Dream. Dream's falling away, shooting that bitch out of bounds. Bro, you know I'm how niggas playing now? He was playing like that. That in the back big in the early. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And yes. this shit was. This shit was. I'm talking about nine and one. This nine and one. Dude, I'm talking about. It was beating the ass, beating the brakes off. Man, nine hey. and one. They would swept them. Nine and two, we swept them. I don't know. Google it, shit. But, I don't know. But when y'all played the when y'all played the Knicks, guessing, when y'all played the Knicks, y'all went to Game Seven. Yeah. Right. Eastern Conference Finals. The Bulls went to Game Seven against the Knicks without Mike, as well. So, if Magic Mike was there in the finals, I think it would have been a little different for sure. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Man, you see, I think it was a different. I'm this nigga, I'm a man, man. You know what, man? You know what, man? I think this nigga. 
Nah, you know what? This motherfucker won't be controversial and yeah. shit in this motherfucker. That's right, what, man, he wanna that's see what all the fuck shit he don't read. He yeah, won't yeah, take a joke and say, he got a computer right there. Google it. I'm a Bulls, it up, I'm a Bulls fan. I'll grow up. Look at that, man. I can tell. It's all right. <laughs> I hate keep hearing this nigga shaking his head over here. Nah, nah, nah. He asked you a question, you say your answer, answer. now he going, yeah, well, what, 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 what are we doing, my peoples? <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> nah, for sure, man. Nah, it was Come on, man. Hey, man, I think it would have been good series, man. Yeah, it it went better than that magic series. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Swept them off. Swept them off. <laughs> we definitely, man, appreciate you pulling up, talking your oh, shit with us. Man, man we, nah. we got us a basketball. We want you to sign that motherfucker, no man. Put your signature on there. Come on, my peoples. Got to do it. Nah, for sure. Huh? Oh, yeah, we got some member bill them now. <laughs> <laughs> so... So they fucked up what, that it, word. what we got though? Member Bill. Member yeah, Bill. Member, yeah, that's it. He <laughs> fucked that up, then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't even know who signed them gloves right now. We just, we just had but some look shit down good, though, sitting yeah. up there. Nah, Jeff T signed this oh, shit. Oh, that's right my guy. Yeah, right so there. we got Jeff T. Now we got this. Hey, that shit I don't want to knock the wind out of me. Yeah, I see, act like he didn't know what to do with that shit. <laughs> this shit went back here. I was like, what the fuck you doing all that for, nigga? Right here. <laughs> that motherfucker tuck him back. He ain't control the ball, nigga. Don't let the ball control you. <laughs> Nah, man. We appreciate you pushing no that. Anything man. you got to say when you dip, man? Nah, man. Just, hey. I got my golf line coming out. Okay. okay nice. mm -hmm. I got an app coming out my golf line. Vernon Maxwell Golf Line. The Vernon Maxwell Initiative LLC Mental Health. I got that going. Vernon, the Max Style Podcast coming back to you in the near future real soon. For sure. What else, Cam? That's it. Hey, hey peace. tell me your social media. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit. Um, <laughs> well, Vernon Maxwell 11. Vernon Maxwell 11. Twitter. Um, hey, I, what happened? What happened with that? He was on that. Yeah. Now you'll see. <laughs> you'll see my damn picture. All right, got damn, 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 damn push on that motherfucking nigga right there. Well, you see me? That's me in the in the fucking. No oh, man, it's nothing but salute, man. Well no, wishes to no, all sure. that, man. Shout out to Vernon, Mad no Max, Maxwell, pushing up on us, man. No doubt, my yeah, people. Y'all follow him. Goddamn broken play, man. I appreciate this shit. This man, shit for sure, man. Funny, I appreciate you. Man, we appreciate Great you coming questions. through. Was crying, bro. Yeah, for sure. No uh, beside that shit, he was doing. Yeah, man. I ain't like that. Yeah, bro. I ain't know he was going to do that. Man, let me get from beside this. Y'all keep tuning in to Broken Play. Okay. Oh man, that was yeah. good, man. I was man, crying, appreciate bro. you, man. Oh my god. For real. Number of respect. Are we going?